Indeed. Um, Jello makes it to the Pistons on a un oh. um, guaranteed contract. Oh. Um, I don't like that answer, Trevor. I don't like that. Why don't? Why? Why are you? Why are you, uh, why are you doing that? Because he's not a good enough to be an NBA player. He's not. But th- who does that affect? Does that affect you? I mean, I have, I, I got a platform. I got to have an opinion, right? No, you can have an Shit. opinion, but, but like, here's what, like another. <laughs> no, because what I'm saying, I was, I was getting to my questions were getting to a point. And uh-huh. It's just like, yo, like, I get it. He might be trash, but I think like what I like because this is where my stance is now. I am just dropping the fact that that Jello and Lonzo and all these like they're whatever. They made it to the NBA. It's miraculous. That is it's that amazing. is like you know what I'm saying. I think that's a great accomplishment, and yeah. they're black. And I'm, I mean, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, and I think half. I, mean, I shouldn't do that. I should not Don't do, do that. that. You're going to have half black nephews. Men. What's they up, man? Not, they should not do that. Okay. All right, cool. All right. But Whew. listen, okay. I wasn't even referring to them being like half and half. They're just really, really bright. <laughs> That's it. That's all I was referring to. <laughs> and the niggas is see through. <laughs> yeah. They are anyway, translucent. Indeed. Um, all right. Back, back to being sure. I, listen, I think um, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else has given them a heart. Like, I think everyone else has so much negative things to say. And like you said, we do have a platform. And I do want to say from a perspective, as an African-American dude, to get three of your African-American sons, however they may look, into the NBA, salute. It's an accomplishment. It's mm-hmm. great. Um, however you got it, like, would I have done it differently? A thousand percent. Would my mm-hmm. kids speak differently? Yeah. And would my kids look different? Yeah. But like... To, 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 to train, to invest, to put money in, to bet on yourself and the things that you produce and to have, to see live results, I think that's fucking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Salute to LeVar. And that's what I got. So, I think two things can be true. I think multiple things can be true at the same time. I think it's miraculous that LeVar Ball had the foresight to, you know, train and rear and counsel his kids the way he did for them to be where they are right now. So, like you said, sometimes the ends don't justify the means. And I don't feel like in a lot of times and a lot of actions that LeVar took that the ends justified the means. That's just me. I think he's like I I I think he's a stand-up guy. I think he's a great dad. Um, the whole like big uh big baller brand company uh fiasco where he lost a bunch of his sons, his oldest son's money. He didn't do it. His his, his business nope. partner did it. What are you talking that, about? That's life. That's but Lavar didn't do that. I, I understand. Life. I understand. I understand. That's life. But that's what Lavar was pushing. Like that was it was Lavar on ESPN. It was Lavar on Fox. It was Lavar on TV every single week when he was hot. You know what I'm saying? And like and, and and you have this other person that's running your son's business and running it into the ground. And then you I can't I like and I see everything. and then that and no I mean you can't, but you should. At least try to, or do a better job of trying to. And I feel like he could have done a better job of trying to if he wasn't trying to be famous himself. So, 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 so I, so I just that's why I feel like the the ends don't justify the means all the time. Listen, like two things can be true. He's a great dad. From all accounts, he's a great dad. Therefore, his kids very present, very active. But he's also a little bit of a jerk. Yeah. Not the nigga I'd probably want to be friends with. That's just me. I'm, no, I'm with you on that. Like, you won't yeah. catch me. You won't catch like you won't catch me hanging out with Lavar, right? But like, I do want to credit just the results. Yeah, you can absolutely. You know what I mean? I mean, but you got to really talk to Lonzo and Jello and um, and Lamelo about whether they feel like the ends justify the means because uh, uh, they, they're on record and they, and, they, and they're on record like Lonzo's on record saying he supports. He's like, yeah, I'm, 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 like any other kid. Like they said the things that any other kid would say. I think it's my I pops think that, be wildin' sometimes, but I fuck with my pops, and that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, yeah. just that's, like being a kid. I mean, that's everybody. Yeah. Um, I think like the thing that has made it look better is that like Lonzo's coming into his own. Like he's he's talking more, and when he talks more, For you himself. hear more of his voice yeah. and his opinion and his his viewpoints, and and then he's also you know got his own like apparel deal, and he's taking care of his own money. Instead of like you know relying on other people, so I think from that standpoint, he took it as a lesson, a lesson learned, and he was like, "I'm gonna handle my shit now," and I think that's cool. But I think it's I, have you heard like some of the quotes, like some of the stuff like his dad has said about like you need to be with this company, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you should be with us. Why would like 
That type of stuff, I'm not. I'm not with. And like, and they know their dad. Uh, no, yeah, and he, they probably he's, just he's brush it off. He's a lot. By by like, like, listen, he's a lot. Yeah. Like when he was on his like little like capade, right? Like I was also on, on the other side. Run. Like, yo, he's doing too much. He was I'm doing way too much. too much. But when I saw that his results, like, listen, man, because of like in the spirit of the alchemist, right? Like, chase your shit. He had a dream. Yeah, chase it. But he he had a dream for his uh, three sons. For his sons, and I love I love the irrational confidence. I love the the backing up your sons a hundred percent. But it became a lot about him. It wasn't of really course. much about his sons. It became a lot about him, and that's what was kind of nasty to me. It's no, cool. Go you, get yours. Go do your thing, but don't don't no, make it seem like it it's better. about your sons when it's about you. Just tell me it's about you. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, yeah, about you playing football. And you, like, yes. And that's like, you always have to just, like, a grain of salt. For me, it's always a grain of salt. And my grain of salt right now is just three sons in the league. Nothing else. Not that's business dope. sense, not nothing. But um, it happens, I mean, because you got the Holiday Brothers... Also, and it happens, and it does happen. Um, and we don't know, and, and we I don't guess even, their parents are more low key. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. their parents are more low key. And then what, there's another set of brothers, um, uh, Giannis and his brothers, the Antetokounmpo's. Right, right, right. You know what? Yeah. Like very you know low so key funny, parents. Man? Yeah, you see that. Like, and there's just, like, listen, but that's just like different ways to get it. You know what I mean? And like, like, which way would like, you prefer? Under the radar, just keep it low. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I could resonate with a story, I don't know the, the, the Drew Holiday stories, but I know the Giannis story. Like right now, that's that's a story for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Like Absolutely. that's a story that I could relate to. Like, yo, like, not less, like, go get it. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, we had to go get it. Like, they didn't have, like, Giannis and his brothers had nothing. They, they didn't have from, shit. They came from Africa, then they went to Greece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, and he was a little, he was scrawny. You feel me? And his story's better because it's like, yo, not only am I going to make it, but I'm going to make sure that I make it in a way to put my brothers on because right now his, there was no clout created behind his brothers. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So yeah. I, I like that story better for me. And that was a good, that's a good question. I and his like brother's a, and his brother's a champion. And his brother's <laughs> a champ. <laughs> for the Lakers. Crazy, crazy, bro. That was, that was good, Trev. Yeah. Um, my last thing is um, Nate Robinson's big bro is, is, is stepping in. <laughs> big bro stepping in. Okay. You're gonna Floyd is on, coming to handle his work, yeah. his light work. So what you're going to do is you're going to go get your big brother and tell him I want to fight him. This is some real street shit, bro. <laughs> this is some, What we're talking about is Floyd and Logan Paul are set to fight uh, on February 20th. Another thriller spectacular, another Uncle Snoop phenomenon, but more so, what do you think? This is not... Oh, man. Is this what I, we I want? Mean, is this the revenge we want? All right. I'm going to give you two sides. I'm going to give you the fun side and the serious side. All right, fun fine. side, would love to see this. Fun side, would love to see Floyd maybe get knocked the fuck out. What the fuck? What, ha what happens when that happens? Oh, the world implodes. What happens when... I thought about that. I would Yo. love to see that. The world implodes. Oh, my God. The moon crashes into the sun. Oh. And it delegitimizes... And I feel like, so this is the serious You're side. You're not him no more, dog. I You're feel like not this, him. My serious side. I feel like all these little amateur matches that are being billed and making so much money and revenue is delegitimizing real fights. Because there was a real fight this Sunday. Right. And there was less. Between Danny that. Garcia and Errol Spence. Right. You watched it? I didn't watch it, but I watched the highlights. I didn't watch either. I watched the highlights. Either, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was but interested like said, in it. But, but look at me. I was begging for the Nate fight. <laughs> begging for the Nate. And I was more interested in the real fight that happened this yeah. weekend. And yeah. it's, it's, it legit, delegitimizes real fighting yeah. because it's like we're not – because for people who are casual boxing fans, because I consider myself like a little bit above, above casual boxing fan, not like yeah. a diehard but not casual. For that casual okay. boxing fan that likes to see fights but also likes some salacious entertainment shit, this is a wad. This is a win. Like, you get to see your favorite social media YouTube person fight on TV with Snoop Dogg commentating and concerts. It's diluting the boxing. It's not boxing. It's just, it's yeah, like, it's, an, just, it's a party. It's, it's an event. It's an entertainment okay. event, you know? Yeah. Um, I just, man, I don't get I don't get it, man. Because it's not a money grab for Floyd. It is right? money. He needs money. All right, cool. He spends a lot of money. I'm not saying he's broke. I'm not saying he'll ever yeah. be broke. But he spends a lot of money. He's paid off a lot of women that he beat up. It's true. 
<laughs> he has a lot of kids. He's about to be a grandpa. Oh, he did a great job grandpa? raising his daughter. His daughter is about to be like a seventh baby mom of of this rapper nigga that she, that's pre, that she's pregnant by right now. Any uh, chopper? Yeah, no. Nah, is it him? I don't know these don't names, know, it's, man. It's, an, it's another. Why they got? Why they names letters? N E L. Uh, y M B. Oh, uh, N B A is it? Uh, no. N B A. Never, never broke again. That's never not even the National again. Basketball <laughs> Association. You fuck. Like, what are you doing? No, and ah, oh, man. Yeah, she's gonna be a seventh baby mama to some to some dude. Great job, Floyd. N B A. I can't. Yeah, N B A. Young boy, or is it N B A. Uh, young? Is it one, one of the N, one of the N B A S? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just think it delegitimizes boxing. I'm watching though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm I will. Too cool. We'll see. Listen, if <laughs> Floyd, I'm too cool. You are. You are. You are. Because you also did say that you're not the casual boxer. You, you know what I'm saying? So there's no way you're watching this. But um, if Floyd oh, loses, Floyd man, that's gonna be. Imb- and here's and here's how Floyd loses. Here to here first. Like you saw, how his brother was swinging. One of those swings, you can't really. Defend that swing. What is that? Oh, wait, this is Logan Paul fighting or Jake It's not Paul. Jake. It's not Jake. It's Logan, his big bro. His big bro was oh, his big bro. Oh, I thought it was Jake because I was thinking Nah, no turnaround. way, bro. Floyd would kill Jake. He's fighting his brother who is the actual professional boxer. It's just legit. legit. And I think it kind of, I mean, nobody, the thing is like we're in a time right now where nobody like actually cares about like your skill or your profession or the honor that you put behind it. So nobody cares that Floyd is just out here like grabbing money. He's basic he's basically like like the bearded lady at a circus. Niggas is getting it. Niggas is getting it. They're like I get it. I get, I get what like, you, you got it. You know what I mean? Like niggas is getting it. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I don't like it. That's just me though. And nobody cares what I think. So it's fine. I, I mean <laughs> I, I don't really like it either, but you know. I, I guess it's, I hope Floyd doesn't lose, but like when you, like it's one of those things. Like I hope win, he loses. When you win, like what does it matter? Exactly. But the thing is, is like if Floyd loses, the world implodes. If he wins, he was supposed to win. So what's so what's the common denominator in why he does this? The bag. Come on. Yeah, you're right. You heard it here first on the Kingsley's podcast. Yes. And I and I do think Floyd is going to knock out this nigga. So it is what it is. He's just too good. At, he's really he's he sucks at being a person, but he's really good at boxing. <laughs> 